Hey, hey, y'all. It's Mrs. Black coming back. Long time no see. I know, I know. But, uh, this video isn't going to be about me. This video is about this right up there. Um, so let's get right into this video and then I'll make an update video about myself and tell you guys what's been going on with me these last couple of months and stuff like that because it has been a long time since you've seen me. So anyways, this is a um, virgin hair review for Is It Hers Virgin Hair by Marshall Wilson and she was very very nice enough to send me um, two bundles of uh, virgin Filipino curly hair, my very first curly purchase ever. Yes, I did say purchase because I did buy this hair. Um, it wasn't sent to me for free, I did buy the hair. So, it came to me in a box like this through USPS and the hair came wrapped in pink paper like this and with these bows on it. Um, I'm having technical difficulties with my computer right now so I'm doing this video on my phone, my iPhone and my pictures are on here also and I can't like edit the video before I upload it so I'm just gonna at a probably in like a day or two maybe three I will make a slideshow picture video showing you what the hair looked like when I very first received it um, during and after co-washing and plopping and then afterwards throughout the drying process also um, I just can't do it on here and this is like the third or fourth time I tried to record this video either my dog and my husband were interrupting the whole video shooting process or I didn't like the way my hair looked in the video which I don't like the way my hair looks in this video right now but I just got off work and I'm just rush 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 everything is a rush I don't have time for relaxation but that's neither here nor there um so let me show you what the hair looks like this is the 20 inch that I received and when I first got the hair, I didn't have any shedding. When I co-washed the hair, which I'll show you pictures of this also, I was running my fingers through it and I got maybe one or two strands. And right now, no strands. And that's been going on for the last couple of days. Um, every time I come home and I want to play in it and do like this and do like that and all this body and moving and shaking, I never get any shedding. Never. I don't ever get any shedding from this this hair and I, I love that about this hair um, I hardly ever can say that about any hair that I've ever gotten this is the 18 inch and it is more curly curlier than the 20 inch but uh, I think that that might be to what to expect um, I noticed that a lot, from a lot of different people showing you know showing off their hair that the shorter bundles tend to be curlier and this is what that looks like um, this is the weft on the 20 inch and the weft on the 18 and well, let's do one at a time. These are the ends. And the 18 inch. Now, when I was talking to Marshall, she did tell me that there were certain requirements that she did have for the person that was going to be doing this review for. And that she wanted me to wear the hair for a minimum of two months. Um, just straightforward. And, you know... I, if I get some hair, I'm going to wear it till I can't wear it no more because I don't want to spend any more money. So I'm actually going to wear it through three installs specifically for the review. And if I decide to keep wearing it after that, then I, I will. But I do plan on dyeing this hair. I plan on bleaching it. I plan on flat ironing, curling, and who knows what else I might decide to do with this hair. But, um... My first install, which is going to be tomorrow, I'm just going to get a regular full sew-in. Just plain and simple full sew-in. The second install, I'm going to order a closure from her because she does sell those also. And I'm going to wear the hair with a closure. And for my third install, since I am relaxed, I'm going to get, uh, get it wefted onto a U-part. And I'm going to... Um, leave some of my hair out just so you guys can see how the hair will blend with African-American textured hair um, 
and you know throughout all that you guys will be able to see and tell the difference between how thick it was when I first installed it like if there's a lot of shedding then it'll be thinner is it even gonna make it to a third install different things like that um, so when she sent it to me I forgot to tell you guys this too but she also sent me some fingernail polish because I don't know if she looked at my other videos and noticed that my fingers are always looking rough but she sent me some fingernail polish I'm just kidding um, which was really really nice of her it's this crackle glaze and by china glaze and I've been wanting to try this crackle crackle mania I want to try it so thank you so much Marshall that was very very sweet of you and she put a sweet little note in there for me and you know just saying thank you for me doing it for her and she's just really amazing so this is what I used whenever I co-washed also and I didn't even use this full bottle, but I did use this. Um, I'm not going to seal my wefts um, for the install. First install, I'm not going to seal my wefts. Second install, um, I'll seal my wefts. And then I'm not going to seal for my third install. I'm just going to, you know, let it ride out and see how the hair does. Um, because I know, you know, the more that you do wear hair, the more that it is going to shed. You know, you touching it and rubbing it and brushing it and doing all that, it will start to shed more. Um, but the first install, I just want to see naturally how the wefts handle it. Second install, I uh, will seal, and then I'm hoping that it'll last and ride out through the third one. Um, which, I mean, as of now, I don't have any problems with this hair. I've I've had it for maybe a week, maybe a little over a week, and like I said, I finger comb it every single day, and I haven't gotten any shedding except for while I was co-washing it. So I have high hopes for this hair. Um... If you guys want to suggest any products I should use, either for um, blending, when I get to blending it with my natural hair, or just for how to maintain curly hair, because I know they say that it is a lot more high maintenance. Um, I do live in Kansas where it's very humid. It's very, very hot right now. So any products that you guys want to suggest, I'm all gung-ho for hearing that. As of right now, I'm living and dying and breathing and eating and sleeping by John Frieda Frizzies. I use everything in the line, you know. I don't want to have frizzy hair, so I do whatever I can. Let me take this down real quick so I can just show you uh, what I'm what I'm working with. But I I love that product, and I know that they do have a couple products for curly hair, so. Um, I am going to go run out and buy those just so that I can use them with the curly hair also. So this, um, yeah, see, no frizz. And that's that's what I'm definitely going to be needing for this hair right here. Um, since it is curly hair, I know that it's going to be more uh, susceptible to frizzing. And frizz be gone, baby. I'm not trying to be frizzy missy out here. Okay, alright, so, um, is it hers virgin hair? I'll upload the video, put the links to everything down below. You guys comment, rate, subscribe, let me know um, what you want to see me do with the hair. I'll be making random videos and asking you, you know, do you think that I should ombre the hair? Do you think I should dye it? Do you think I should do streaks? Do you think I should add color? What do you think I should do? We'll see, we'll see. Alright, this is Mrs. Black signing out. Peace!